Oh, I'll get my wallet. I'm sorry about Beth playing hardball. Well, five pounds is reasonable. I'll tell you what, call it three. Really? But don't tell Beth. Mm -hmm. If you're sure. Don't tell Beth what? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Blind me. Come to something when you can't even take a dog out for a walk without getting aggro. It's political correctness gone mad. Cheers. Bye, Eccles. Pretty sure it isn't. Well. Tea? Thank you. Kirk interrupted me mid-quartet. Oh, uh, Mozart. Uh, Magic Flute. I'm impressed. <laughs> Here the three boys persuade Pamina not to take her life by reassuring her of Tamino's love. Two hearts aflame with love can never be parted by human weakness. Great stuff. Even in English. Do not get me started on human weakness. That care home, right, is run by a... Uh, 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 listen to the lovely opera. So now Flora's refusing to eat anything. Says she doesn't like the food. And the staff don't care. I sincerely doubt that. Well, anyway, she's miserable. I tried ringing the council, see if they'd move her somewhere else, but they pretty much hung up on me. At least Flora has you fighting a corner. Well, I haven't actually managed to help her yet, have I? Well, maybe it's time to find someone who can. A unique dry microclimate, 320 days of sunshine, 320. Well, we've got that here. Mm, I'm not sure we do, Kurt. Well, if there's no sun, it'd be dark, right? So it must be up there somewhere, otherwise it'd be night all the time. You can't fault his logic. Uh, well, you sort of can. Sunshine, Kirk. Sunshine. A unique, dry microclimate. You've already said that, love. Oh, Jenny's already at level eight on the annoying scale. How many levels actually are they? Well, did they should break the twenties over Christmas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, two seconds. Is, uh, Moira here? Ah, well, I held back that memo on CQC oh. compliance, so it's going to take her about an hour Maybe even two to come up with a reply. <laughs> Gonna get you a drink? Obviously. Right, guys. Hey, beep, beep, Daddy. <laughs> Sucking, guys. These are me. Trying to buy her a fetch. It's totally work. He's always been my favorite. Oh, yeah. Don't you be swigging from the bottle. Oh. oh, isn't she lovely? Yeah, well, maybe now, Sal. Three in the morning, bless her. <laughs> uh, congratulations, mate. I'm dead sure for both Thanks, of you. Jeff. Thank you. Mm, well done, you. Thank you. Well, it's not like she did much. <laughs> Nine, ten. Eight, she did plenty. You know, surrogacy, it's not an easy process. She took care of everything. I still need to say thanks to uh, Jackie. Yeah, we've got a lot to be grateful for, haven't we? You OK? Yeah. Uh, to Dad and Jenny. Oh, Jenny, 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 Jenny. Jenny. Sally. Daniel, how's the FAWM going? Uh, good, good, but I don't want to talk about that. Oh, right. Now, as a left-leaning investigative journalist, I obviously abhor the culture of nepotism and favours within the council. Right. However, I'm willing to overlook all that because I need a favour. Oh, Dr. Neeson. Oh, God. Hiya. Oh, mine's a slimline G&T and a coin table, so you can have good old catch up. She's just a scared old lady. Um, she's got nobody else, and, well, you're sort of my last hope. Is there anyone that you can speak to? This isn't a clever sting for an article, is it? You haven't got a hidden camera in there somewhere. No. No, no, this is more important than any article. Besides, it's way too loud near to have a hidden microphone. Well, I'll see what I can do. What? Now? Damn, you're all right. Not good news, I'm afraid. He confirmed that her home is in special measures, but unless specific abuse has been reported, it's highly unlikely she'll be moved. Great. It's horrible to think, isn't it? You work hard all your life, and then you end up in a place like that. Oh, I hope I never get old. 
Where's the other Mr. Connor gone? He was left and saw the party a minute ago and then... Oh, no one our age and he just got all excited and drunk too fast. Gone home for a tactical nap <laughs> or a kebab or both. <laughs> Nothing but my predictable big bro. Eva will be feeling it. I'm Maria. I just hate to think of him so sad. I wonder what we're going through his mind just before and... Well, maybe nobody will ever know, all right? Or maybe he left a note. I'm so kind as well. I'm glad that you two were on better terms. <sighs> yeah, I suppose. I, mean, I didn't like the guy. I won't be squeezing any tears out, but I wouldn't wish him dead. That's what he wished for himself. <clears throat> yeah, well, you know, it's not necessarily that they want to die. It's, it's more that they just can't see another way out of their problems. Thanks for that, Oxbridge. Maybe have a coffee after this one, eh? Uh, we'll see. How's Mrs. Brady, old lady? Laura? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's all right. I think that you've got a fan. Old-fashioned. My boss's favourite tipple. Ah, a man of taste and distinction. Who says it's a man? Sorry, me and my sexist mouth. You're OK. He's a he. A high-functioning alky with a purple nose and some very bad novelty ties. What's not to love? Why don't you join me? Why don't you join me? <laughs> What's with the liquid lunch? Ah, it's been a rough couple of days. Mm. What's your excuse? Pulled a sickie. What? The breeders are off all the time. Rosamond's got crew polite won't settle at nursery. I'm just striking a blow for the child free. Skyving is skyving is skyving. Deep. You're trouble, you know that? Hot, though, yeah. <laughs> if you say so yourself. What's your name, Trouble? Neve. I can spell it. Next round's on me. Hmm. N-I-E-M-H. Damn. You're brighter than you look. Adam. Adam and Eve. Almost biblical. Same again, please. And a large Prosecco. Let's take on my car, Danny boy. Oh, thanks. Second-hand car trade boom in there. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. I'm a solicitor. For ambulance chasers. I politely request on behalf of my clients that you take that back. I can get five grand for hard feelings, you know. <laughs> you were saying you've had a bad couple of days? Yeah. I reckon I could do with some mindless fun. Any ideas? Like that. In fact, I think I've got a pair like that. Are they mine? I didn't say you lived with your gran. I don't. Honest, I don't. She's taking my shoes. Who the heck is that? The bathroom's through there, straight on. I knew that. Right. Why have you got some day strangers mother in our house? Shh. She doesn't quite realise that he's gone. Anyway, her name's Flora. I don't care what her name is. She's not a responsibility. She kind of feels like she's mine. If I hadn't have Yeah, got... yeah, yeah. You're weighed down by guilt. Why don't you buy her a bunch of flowers or something? Not bring her back here. Listen, that care home that she in was rubbish. But it's all right. I've got it all worked out. I'm going to write an expose and I'm going to force the council to put her in somewhere better. And in the meantime... What is it with you and your little campaigns? First it's free Anna, now it's save our senior citizens. You're looking for a scout badge or something. <laughs> And in the meantime, she can stay here. Over my dead body. All right, fine. Do you want to explain to her that you're kicking her out? You've got lovely eyes. Auntie got lovely eyes. Auntie just. Right, I was very hippie in the younger days. Joss sticks, headband, tie-dye T-shirt, free love. Fancy watching some TV? Oh, I had enough of that in the home. Though, I did like... What was it called now? Set in America. Oi. Sorry? What's his name? You know. You must have heard of it. Oh, you could go for a nap. You fancy a little nap? I can never nap during the day. I'm a dab hand at drafts, if you've got any. Wasn't there something that you were knitting? Oh, yes. A scarf for our Harvey. 
is a tendency to sore throats, you see. Always has since he were a kiddie. I'll go and find it. Oi, what's with the mood? You really need to ask. I should be in bed with a beautiful girl right now. Instead, I'm making small talk with some octogenarian. No, it's more than that. Why are you out boozing and bringing home random women during the day when you should be at work? You know what? You're just like her. What's sitting on in my ear hole? I've had enough. I'm going out. And when I come back, I want her gone. He's a grumpy beggar, isn't he? He is. So that's the Scots for you. It's all that bad weather. At the home, they gave me margarine and said it was butter. But I can tell the difference. Well, this is all incredibly fascinating. Have you seen my apple juice? Well, no. Not in there yet. Oh, I had that. To be honest, it wasn't very nice. Too rich for me, so I pulled the rest away. That was mine. I'll get you a new one. You should have put a label on it. A label? It's just apple juice. I was right. This flat share arrangement is not working. Oh, I don't know. I think he's lovely. And you remind me of my Harvey. Mm, with your lovely eyes. I want her gone. I never signed up to live in with a geriatric juice thief. Adam, leave her on the steps of the hospital. Tie her up in a sack and dump her at the bottom of the canal for all I care. Sort it out. Oh, sorry about that, Flora. I've got any apple juice. I like apple juice. You need? Well, temporarily. Oh. So I turn you down and you find a new trophy girlfriend to replace me? Well, what can I say? I hate being by myself. Mm. So how does Adam get on with Flora? Adam? Well, he'd like me to drown her in the oval. Extreme. Mm. But I choose to believe that he's joking, but if he's not, we're all in a bit of trouble, aren't we? You best get right in that article, then. I know. But I was wondering, how would you like to come round for tea tonight with me and Flora? Very big. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's a bit. So well, she's a bit of an acquired taste, right? But once you get to know her, she's proper fun. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Got me juice yet? Hey? No, it's on my list. But oh, hey, we're having tea in the flat about six thirty. If you fancy joining, I think I'd rather stick pins in my eyes. But thank you. Hey, you don't need to be doing that. I like to keep myself busy. You've got some lovely shirts. No, they're Adam's. Hello, Flora. Who's this? Oh, uh, this is Sinead. Chanel? Uh, Sinead. She's going to have tea with us. Why? Because she's my girlfriend. Oh, yes. He's told me about you. Oh, really? Um, I, I can help you if you like. I can manage. I'm not helpless, you know. I've got all my faculties. Is there something wrong with her back? No. So why is she slouching? I'm not slouching. I can't stand people who don't stand up straight. What are the only thing bothering you? Was well, she not enough? I was thinking about Aiden. You know, it's quite a shock. <sighs> Why should that bother me? He's a young, ambitious man like you. And I know the two of you had a few run-ins. You think he did it because of me? No, of course not. But I can't help thinking about Johnny. Uh, imagining how I'd feel if it was you, or Daniel, or Peter. You all had your problems in the past? Yeah, in the past. Look, I can't speak for Peter, Daniel, but trust me, I would never do that. Could I have some more water, please? Um, here, I'll do it. <sighs> there you go. Thank you, Chanel. Uh, Sinead. What? <clears throat> it's Sinead. 
That's what I said. So, did you have a busy day today, Sinead? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was quite busy. Sinead works in the factory. She's a seamstress. Really? What does she make? Um, lingerie. Pardon me? Lingerie. I wish she'd stop mumbling. Lingerie! Pants! She makes pants. Pants? Yeah. Very nice pants, actually. We do, um, we do lacy pants. We do silk pants. Oh, no, that's not right. She's put something in me water. What? Chanel's put something in me water. It didn't taste right. It's Sinead. There's nothing wrong with the water. It might be poison. She could be trying to poison me. Don't give me any ideas. The water's absolutely fine. It's poison. She's trying to kill me. Look, it's fine, honestly. I'll try it. See? Absolutely fine. <coughs> Okay, not funny. <coughs> Daniel? <coughs> Daniel, are you all right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It just... It went down the wrong way. Like I said, not funny. Oh, it's you. Where's Daniel? He's walking Chanel home. Chanel. She tried to poison me. Isn't it past your bedtime? Oh, no. I love knitting. I could do it for hours. I could knit you a chunky jumper if you like. I'm fine, thank you. Come and sit with me. Tell me about your day. <sighs> My day was rubbish. Why is that, then? You really want to know? Oh, yes. A guy I know killed himself a couple of days ago. And I can't help but think it was my fault. Why is that, then? I did everything I could to make his life a misery. I really wanted to make him suffer. Now it's obvious he really did suffer. You know, it's because of me he lost the factory. The pants factory? Yeah. So, this is the same fellow who just reopened it? Chanel works there? Yeah. He was her boss? Yeah, that's right. Well, he got the factory back. And everyone got their jobs back. So it couldn't be your fault, could it? So stop worrying about it. Get used to this. Spoiling me. Oh, staff discount. It's a wonderful thing. Mm. Shouldn't you be working now? Uh, no, I don't start my shift for another half hour. I'm just checking to see whether the Gazette's been in touch. I should be hearing back about my article today. Oh, Flora's care of. Once this is out there, pressure's on, and then the council will have to find us something better. So she should be moving out soon, then? Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. Really? I love motivational messages, mate. Well, I don't, so stop sending them to me. As my mum would say, pearls before swine. Rosie, will you stop doing that? Oh, I'm just so bored. Have you not got anything to do? Well, I'm, like, so efficient. I finished all my work. I'm a victim of my own success. Well, good for you. Aren't you just wonderful? You know, if you gave me a company car, I could literally chase ambulances. I love the initiative. I really do. But I'm sure that's against the law. Shame. Hiya. Is a uh, run around? Um, no, he's out with the client. Do you want me to pass on a message? Oh, no, you're all right, thanks. I'll catch him later. How's Sophie doing? I know she and Aidan were close. Well, if you must know, Johnny really laid into the other day and made her cry. And she's totally devastated about Aidan. She just feels so guilty. She's got nothing to feel guilty about. I deep down she probably knows that, but I won't stop her beating herself up. Well, she's gutted she didn't reply to his text on the day that he died. It's become this massive thing. I'm sure it wouldn't have made any difference. He'd clearly made his mind up. Yeah, I know, but she's just driving herself mad, going, what if? That's what's so sad about this. Everyone wants answers, but there just aren't any. So you're OK to work on Yasmin's divorce? Yeah, no problem. 
So, I went back to the flat to check on Flora, and she's asked me to give you these. She's made me sandwiches. Mm. Oh, that's so sweet. I didn't realise the two of you were besties, all of a sudden. Man can change his mind. A fiver says they're meat paste. Aye, too, right? Those oldies can't get enough of this stuff. No, it's something far more exotic than that. Sugar. Seriously. Sugar butties. That is so old school. My nan used to make those for my mum. Aye, talk about carb overload. Hey, get them down, you. Say goodbye to your teeth first, though. I don't think so. Don't tell Flora. Isn't this going to cramp your style? Having an old woman shuffling around your bachelor pad? No, as far as I'm concerned, she can stay as long as she likes. Sorry about this. Just give me one second. Uh, they wanted these steaks rare, my bad. Uh, well done, it says here. Yeah, as I say, my bad. Which means the cost of them's coming out your wages, Daniel. Great, well, at least that's my tea sorted for tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right, all right, see you. How is he? Ah, uh, still morning. So, uh, Freddie Mercury? Uh, no, it was Zidane, actually. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Well, let's just say I like sleeping with common people like you. Oh, well, any more talk like that and you're bad. Jarvis Cocker! Yes, I know. <laughs> now then, boys, how we doing? Hey, hey, our kid not here. What are you doing? Oh. Finally, an Oasis reunion. Why have you copied my costume? Why do you know he's coming dressed as an old Gallagher dinner? What are you on about? Not Noel and Liam. Yo, it's pretty obvious he's cheese the sheep, brother, isn't it? Hey, that's bang out of order, mate. Liam's a cool one. Noel's just up his own backside. <laughs> He's a creative genius. Come, 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 I'm afraid Tom, you're joking. Michelle's gonna kill you. Relax, mate. You're on your stag, dude. How come we're so early anyway? Maximum drinking time. I'm gonna get this one like this. Oh, no, no. I just, just want to take it easy for a bit. You know, start slowly. Yeah, yeah, of course, mate. So, yeah. Ten sambukas when you're ready, please, love. I can have ether. Oh, it was meant. <laughs> you are so funny. Yeah, we had some mad parties out there. Proper buzz, isn't it? Oh, really? Hey, I still like to party. So, who's your best man now, then? Uh, well, I'm thinking of uh, asking Daniel. Uh, yeah, I'll do it if you give me a pay rise. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, fine. I suppose you do one anyway. Well, then, yeah, in that case, I'd be honoured. Leave you paying someone to be your best man. <laughs> Come on, mate, you're not on the lemonade already, are you? Yeah, with a bubble vodka in it. No, I bought you that. There's no vodka in it. Oh, he's pacing himself. It's only quarter to one. You're as boring as him, typical no. Forget about my mum, let your hair down. What's that on you, bud? Hey? Ah, oh, it's just a thumbprint. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm getting another round. Hey, here's hand our kid. Same again. You know, you have the most beautiful heart. <laughs> and you have had way too much to drink. He's all right, Rob, isn't he? Well, he's a bit boring, but he's probably good for her at our age, you know? I'm so sure he is. Well, at least he's not going to cheat on her like this, Muppet. We were on a break! I know, mate. I'm only winding you up. Hey, your only mistake was getting caught. Uh, Toya, can I have uh, five pints of your finest lager, please? Uh, how big was this tip exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan! I mean, I knew you were fit, but I don't remember muscles like these. Oh, Tracy, if you try to make me jealous, it's not working. You're just making yourself look ridiculous. For a sophisticated posh, too. Well, we were. <laughs> Until we realised we weren't sophisticated or posh. Hey, you speak yourself. <laughs> so what's the thing now? Why are you some, like, geeky vampire? I'm Jarvis Cocker. Oh, oh, of course you are. You look just like him. Hey, no, I've got hat hair. Well, it's my hat. It's my hat. <laughs> and that's my suit. <laughs> oh, you're only upset because it looks better on me. Hey, none of you are supposed to be in here anyway. This is stags only. No chickens allowed. Oh, yeah. Wow. Stags and beer. Oh, you're all <laughs> so manly. We could drink yous on the table. <laughs> In fact, we will do once Kate gets there when she's finished a chip. Yeah, we will. Right. Yeah. Glass of pig? Yeah. Oh, you don't say that, yeah. right? Hey, look at you, my boys matching. Mm -hmm. Hey, who's your fave, Mum Liam or no? Oh. Do you know, I can still never tell which is which. <laughs> very different. Yeah. Well, I think they're both amazing. 
Do you not get my voicemails? Yeah, no, I did. I got your text as well. I'm just sorry I didn't get back to you. Okay. Well, how did the interview go? Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Yeah? I'm sorry I couldn't take you. He was in a right state. Well, there's nothing new there, then. Hidden solicitor have been in touch by now, haven't you? Well, let's just hope that no news is good news. Mm. <laughs> I still expect to see him. Walking down the street in his suit. <laughs> Do you know what? I just can't believe that I'm going to get married and he's not going to be there. You'll be watching. To Aiden. To Aiden. To Aiden. Hey. It's so good to have my boys here. You're like two peas in a pod, aren't you? Yeah, if one of those peas was proper boring. Oh, honestly, I've. I've tried, all right? I just... I, I, I can't stand him. Up. Oh, come on. Look, I know he's different to you, all right? He's... He's sensible. That's just a polite way of saying that he's a dullard. <laughs> Fine, you obviously like the sensible ones. What's that supposed to mean? Well, Rob's a laugh a minute. Not. Hey, you! <laughs> My Robert's fun. Don't make you laugh like Steve did, does he? Yeah, well, no. Steve did a lot of things that Robert doesn't do, thank God. All right, just checking. But Rob's not, you know... Rob's not, you know what? The rebound bloke. All right, onwards. Who knows where the evening will end. You coming, Steve? Uh, no, I'm going to leave you young'uns to it. We can't keep up with you. I'm going to call it a night. Ooh. Yeah, but if you think I'm ready for a cocoa and slippers, you've got to be kidding. I'm going to take your place. Have a good kip, Grandad. Hey, what's she going to do? You're marrying the man of your dreams tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm just, I've had a few too many. <laughs> Come Shall I go over to the florist to get the, the buttonholes? No need. Shh. Too loud. <laughs> a bit of a head, have you? Maybe. No, I'm just more worried that you're going to wake up Flora. <laughs> Look at her. I give up my bed and she'd rather stick the TV on at all hours. Oh, the uh, buttonholes are in there. <sighs> in the fridge? Yeah, Tracy had Mary bring them over last night. So she didn't have to get up early. She was proper cane in it last night. Like you, you mean? Look who I found, trying to buy milk with an old pound coin. It's a pound? Are we in foreign? There were flowers in the fridge. Oh, she's all yours. I only nipped out for some milk. Mm, hang on, hang in there. She'll be hearing back off another care home later on today. Hopefully they'll take her. Oh, thanks. Uh, mm. Hang on. If Flora's here, then who's that? Oh, will you shut up? Tracy? Oh, I'd be quite asleep at the bus stop. Lost her keys, poor soul. She saw I had the light on. I made her a cuppa. Mm, better than Ryan. Got bladdered and bogged off, abandoned me. Wait, bogged off where? He's supposed to be helping set up in the bistro. Well, I don't know. Do I? State he was in is probably lying in a gutter somewhere. <laughs> Hey, are the groom and the best man even allowed in the same car together this close to the wedding? Oi, where are you off? Do you know you're getting married this afternoon and not dressed like that? Flaming Ryan. Why are we stopping now? Oh, fear not. I'll take my best man duties very seriously. We'll have him back here before you know it. He's meant to be happy with set up. Oh, I can see what's left to do. Oi, don't go worrying your mum, OK? As if. They should have just left him. Now there's three of them missing. Ryan's here. According to his text, yeah. Peter? Oh, hey, nice t shirt. Gotta make this just come back from Ibiza. Make sure they've got the wedges. Look at you, wedges. Right, come in! A couple of hours. Just shut up and get your stuff, will you? A bit over the top, isn't he, your dad? Hey. 
I am not his father. No, but he is getting married to his mum later, though. Today? What time? Bet she's climbing the walls. Well, yeah, exactly. Right, come on, out. Oh, I'm gonna need that T-shirt back. You see that stain right there? That's actual Duke de Montspear, so... I'm not taking it off in front of them. Where were your jeans? Uh, jeans. Who the hell are you? Where's Tanya? Tanya! Oh, great. Extra complication. John! This to punish me, is it? We're divorced, good as. Which one was it? Was it? <laughs> no, hold on a sec. I... Oh. Say, Papal it. I just got the lid off that. Look, Ryan, your suit's in there. I want you showered, changed, and ready for your mother's wedding, or it'll be blood and teeth you're washing down that plug hole. Hey. Hang on. Is that Brian? Oh, well, he's the found him. He's half naked, Robert. Uh, Ryan's gone for a shower, yeah. Oh, my God, your eye. It's fine. No, it's not fine. What happened? Uh, uh what? It's an accident. It's nothing. Well, that's going to test Maria's makeup skills. Can you take these favours, please? Yeah, of course, Cam. Let me see it. <sighs> John, I knew we should have waited. Johnny's finding it hard. Ryan went missing. Look at you. What about the photos? I'm all right. We'll cover it up. Look, I'm not going to let this or your son's behaviour or anything else stop me from marrying you. Oh, shouldn't we just wait? Michelle. OK, I know the day has not started off perfectly but it's still going to be the best day of our lives. Juice. But you're lucky you're not still locked in the back of the van. You just say the word. Right. To you two, for always being there for me and Michelle. Cheers. I just think you could stick a body in there. I could? No. She could. Joke. When I'm next ready to hear a joke from you, Ryan, I'll let you know. <laughs> Michelle wants proof that he's still with us. Oh, oh. allow me. Bye, all. Hello? Yes, th th this is Daniel's phone. He's just had to pop out. The old folks home? Is it about the old lady? I I'm glad you called. I'm afraid she died. That's right, in her sleep. Uh, obviously, she won't be needing your bed now. Thanks anyway. Bye. All hey, right. <sighs> Left my phone. Well, will I do? I would. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, I'll put a mark on that vodka. So don't even think about it. earlier about uh, Flora Mercado maybe moving in. Sorry? Dead? No, no. who's told you that? No, I can assure you she's still very much alive. What do you mean her place is gone? Uh, yeah, you may have got your wires crossed. Do you think? Uh, do you know what, actually? Just forget it. Uh, don't you normally go on the honeymoon after the wedding? It wasn't going to be a wedding. What? Obviously, I wasn't enough for Michelle. What are you going on about? Ask her. Better still, ask Steve. Well, where are you going? Stay with Zidane. After that, who knows? But you can't just leave. Robert. Robert! Shoes on, yeah. Just yes, they're right there. Boom. Have you got some groom? Yes, yes, he's here. Don't make me cry. It's gorgeous. Don't you miss him? Something I like the groom. There is no groom. He's late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's more like halfway down the motorway by now. What? Why? 
search me. He said something about asking Steve, and then he just took off. You're seriously telling me that Robert has done a wrong thing? Couldn't get away from there quick enough. What did you just say? I know, I told him, you had one job. Hey, don't blame this on me. He was driving off. What do you want me to do? Throw myself in front of his car? Uh, yeah. Why don't you both just shut up for a second? What did he say? He just drove off. He said that he was going to Zidane's and... What? And that he wasn't enough for you and that either you or Steve would know what he was talking about. Come on. You! Hi, Michelle. This is all your fault. What's my fault? Robert has gone. He must have seen you try to kiss me. Oh, we're telling everyone about that now. You've ruined today for me, Steve. I will kill you. Right, okay. Well, you made this mess, so you fix it. Now go and get him back, now! Carla! Come in, come in. Well, go on! In the office with Carla. Is it true Robert's done a runner because you tried to snog her? On her wedding day. Oh, good. Everyone knows about that now, do they? We're going to find him. He said Zidane's, yeah? Right, so he's got a 20-minute head start. You'll never catch him. Yeah, you're right. I might need some help. <laughs> Tim, yeah, listen, a uh, bit of an odd one. I uh, might need your dad. It sounded like a gunshot. I can't see anything. Well, there was some workmen at the brewery earlier, but perhaps it came from there. So do you reckon this is going to happen then, or what? Well, if Rob's called it off, him and Steve are dead men. All right, Jim, man. Not me, you spanner. I should kill them both. Mm. He's got a pint. Hey. Are we doing it? Uh, yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> um, we're doing it. Uh, hey, everyone. Um, sorry about the delay. Uh, we're ready to go now. Finally. Uh, yeah, you see, um... Robert, don't worry, we all know what an idiot Steve's been. Oh, right. Well, saves time, doesn't it? I think that's your cue. Oh. They do, yeah. I just wish Johnny was here to see. Tell me when I can look. Yeah, I will. OK. Now. Help me! She's dying! Help me! Can you hear me? <laughs> Need an ambulance now, guys! No. Hang up now. Oh, look at she's gonna Hang die! Hang on the phone now! Don't! If I see anybody else with a phone, I will start shooting! <laughs> Roy, you collect everybody's phone up and put them where I can see them. Of course, Roy, we're all just trying to help Nicola. Do it, Roy! This is all I can find. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's gonna have to be. Look, she needs surgery or she's gonna die soon. Okay, we need to get to hospital right now. You. You're gonna save her. Pat, she's your daughter. That's why he's gonna save her. Or I will shoot her first! No! Okay! 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 Okay, okay pressure. Pressure on her. Push down. He just shot his daughter and second her with him. I can barely feel the pulse. We need an ambulance now. It's her only chance of survival, OK? She needs medical attention now. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What's this to think about? You need to escape, she needs an ambulance. Move. Move! <laughs> No, no, I'll go. No, I'll go. I'll do it. You. No, 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 no. Robert. Take me, not her. Out of the way, Robert. Robert, leave it. Robert, 
I will kill you. Then I will kill her. Please, Shall not. Please, please, please. Everybody over there! Move! I love you. And I promise you, if anybody follows me into that kitchen, I will shoot her. so quickly. Please don't know he'll be going right back inside. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's keeping you alive right now, okay? Okay. Let's be sure that she goes down for murder. Stay with me, okay? Did that come from the base throw? I don't know. I think so. Is it true? You're back? Yeah. I think Mum's in there with him. Listen, I'm gonna die happy knowing you'll rot in jail for this. You were gonna shoot her. And even if you weren't, I'd have still done it. It'd be worth every second of being locked up. I heard that, Michelle. And you saw it, I got a witness. <laughs> oh, so self-defense. You don't have to do that. Yeah. You wouldn't risk getting locked up. I have a hair. What? 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 And for Luke. <laughs> yeah, because people like you don't get to win, not in the end. And when we're finished here, I'm going to walk out there and I'm going to go and meet my grandson. And we're going to forget that you ever existed. I win. Somebody's coming out. Get everybody back. Everybody back! Hands on your head! Hands on your head! All right, all right, flipping it. Calm down in inside. Jenny! I, I was about you put them down, mate, and send them some paramedics. We've got people shot inside. My mum is everybody in there. Everybody stay where you are! But it's safe. Pat Phelan's dead. We need to get Nicola and Michelle to hospital. Michelle! OK, then. Single file over here, quickly. Jenny! Ali's with her. I'm sorry. I should have been there. I'm sorry. Mum! Hey! Thank God for that. Get here. Sorry, you need to pick up into my questions. Yeah. Right. Zach? Zach? Oh, he's gorgeous. This is a grandma. They've, uh, taken Nicola to Weather General. 
from what these guys are saying, you might have saved both their lives. Thanks, Alan. Well, I'm gonna head down there, so I'll, uh, I'll meet you there, okay? Yeah. Ali. Help you. I love you too. Listen, what feelings said about what you saw? He's discharging the flaps. I suppose you should get what you want. It's your wedding day after all. We're taking it through the back. Although, technically, we're not actually married yet, are we? Hey, it's not too late. I mean, you still got the dress. I'm sure the registrar's around here somewhere. Maybe we should postpone. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. That said, a national newspaper have asked if they can run it. Oh, I am so proud of you. Mm, thanks. He still gives me the shivers. After what he put us through, I'm not surprised. It's so surreal lived on the same street as us. Tell me about it. Hey, according to my editor, apparently that's what gives the article its gritty authenticity, whatever that means. So what's this article about? Um, beards. You, you know, his perfect facial hair, the new six-pack. Goodness me, the nonsense they'll print these days. I suppose it was Chanel's idea. It's Sinead. Sorry about her. Oh, forget it. So, beards. Do you want to talk about Harvey's death? What? N not at all? Nope. Police told her when they found him. I think this is just incomplete denial. Oh, she's nutty as she is mean. <laughs> Either way, I don't think that she's quite ready for a reality check just yet. <laughs> she's. Oh, well, this is a lovely surprise. Oh, afternoon. <laughs> Goodness, if I'd known you were coming, I'd have changed into something less comfortable. <laughs> oh. I actually was uh, looking for Daniel. Is he around? Oh, uh, You've not long missed him. He took that Sinead to the pub. Oh, must be celebrating. Celebrating? Yeah, the, his latest article. What, that load of rubbish about beards? No, no, the, uh, the article he wrote about the murders. Oh, yeah. he never showed me that. Oh, probably too modest. Says here that, that this Pat Phelan killed my Harvey. Thinking earlier about beards. No, that was actually an article that I read last week. The world's literally gone bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you all right, love? Oh. I knew you journalists were low lifes, but this! How could you write that my half is dead? What kind of person makes up such disgusting lies? It's not lies. It's the truth. Pat Phelan killed your son. Maybe you should sit down, Flora. Why didn't anyone tell me? The police spoke to you at the nursing home. I don't remember that. It doesn't matter now. Now it all makes sense. You moved me in just to get information. No, that's not true. A gullible old lady ripe for the picking. I was worried about your state of mind, especially after you told that nursing home that Flora McArdle was dead. Your type will say anything. You spoke to them on my mobile. I called them back. I haven't the foggiest what you're talking about. Flora, please. Get away from me. I want nothing more to do with you. What happened? I just popped in to congratulate you on your article and she asked to see it. I should have seen that one coming. It completely set my mind that Vinnie, I mean Harvey, was her son. <sighs> Maybe I should go and speak to her. No, no, no. You'd only make matters worse right now. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It's nobody's fault. Look, I'm not being horrible, but the woman clearly needs professional help. I know that she's been hard on you, but what she needs right now are friends. For me... Hi. I just thought I'd come and see how you were doing. Come to kick me out, more like. Might have known he'd make you do his dirty work. No one is kicking you out, Flora. And, for your information, I volunteered for this. 
What can I say? I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm so sorry about your son. To die like that. Harvey must have been so scared. Has there been a funeral yet? The, the, the newspaper doesn't say. Uh, there hasn't. I remember now a, a policeman visiting me in the home. I, I think I hope my, my brain was playing tricks on me again. I didn't want to believe I'm all alone now. You're not alone, Flora. I mean it. Daniel thinks the world of you. He isn't upset with me. Of course not. Honestly, all he cares about is your well-being. That's just the kind of person he is. You and Daniel are really in love, aren't you? Um. well, things are going all right at the moment. I'm lucky to have him. Or maybe he's the lucky one, Sinead. Sorry for Harvey never discussed what would happen when he went. Why would we? But I, I was thinking this morning, laying in bed, I'd like a hymn. Yeah, that'd be nice. He went to Sunday school when he was a little and he had a beautiful voice, so pure. Have you got one in mind? Morning has broken. I've always liked that one. Hey, there's a car for you outside. All oh, right, are we ready? Listen, Flora, now that, um, well, now that Harvey's been laid to rest, I'll go through his estate for you, see how things stand financially. He was always there to look after me, was my Harvey. Well, don't you worry, OK? Come on, then, Flora. Let's go, shall we? I think he'd have liked it. All his friends in church singing for him. All right. It did seem really kind, though, and smiled a lot, considered the undertakers. He looked peaceful, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he did. His father wasn't a very nice man, to me or Harvey. So, since he turned eight, it was just the two of us, me and him. They never made contact with his dad, later on, I mean. It's difficult for a child, being brought up amid so much unhappiness. I think it made him hard, if I'm honest. Back in those days, he met a chap, got engaged. Then once you'd saved up for a bed and a three-piece suite, you got married. If you were lucky, you got yourself a good un. I just wasn't lucky, that's all. I'm so sad. I hope Harvey knew how much I loved him. I'm sure he did. I'll get us some drinks, yeah? Brandy? I'll come here. I feel so bad for her. I mean, I reckon it's only going to be me and you going to the funeral. Yeah, I know. You all right? Kirk, how do you fancy coming to Harvey's funeral? Harvey? I didn't know him. You've been making an old lady very happy. What time is it? Because I can't take time off work. Oh, so it's over dinner time. Just free booze. Go on, then. I didn't know it would be so crowded. How did it go? A bit horrible. Bless her. Mind you, I reckon there's plenty of folk round here opening what's in hell. Oh, shh. Beth, how would you like a lunchtime with unlimited alcohol? What's the catch? What can I get you? Uh, can I get a double brandy? Uh, an orange juice and two pints of lager, please. Right. OK, I'll come. But I don't want you inviting Kirky, OK? Yeah, of course not. Good. Your bunion's killing me. I'm going to take a load off. You're amazing, you are. Do you know that? Oh, go on. Just the way that you've been with her. Anyone would have done the same. Actually, they wouldn't. Especially not after how she's been with you. Yeah, well, you could blame her for wanting you all to herself. Well, you're the only one that's got me. Just you. There you go. I'll bring the pints over. And let's say to him, Vin Harvey, I'd say, you're very, very clever. 
<laughs> I just want you to know, both of you, that I'm grateful for your kindness. Very grateful. These two won't need any luck. They've got love. Mm -hmm. Go through before I... The bottom line is, it turns out Harvey knew a thing or two about investments. Oh, he always was a clever boy. He got that from his mother, I suspect. Mm -hmm. I haven't got an exact figure on it just yet, but it looks like the estate's going to be in excess of 250,000. I know it's no substitute, and you'd rather be a pauper and have him sitting where I am right now. It, it don't seem right. He'd have been pleased to know he left you well provided for. The one thing money gives you is choice. What to do, where to live. The world's your oyster now, Flora. I should have gone with her. You reckon Adam will come to funeral? Don't know. Maybe. What did Maria say? Mm -mm. I'll try him again. Oh, hey. Maria. We've been worried. No need. Is everything all right? Yes, thank you, dear. I went for a little bus ride. Oh, no. Did you get the wrong one? I'm not that batty. <laughs> OK, well, where did you go, then? Anywhere interesting? Old oh, familiar places. Harvey's primary school, the little park where we used to go and feed the dogs, the cinema, there's a pub now, and down the street where we used to live. Such happy days. Well, we would have come with you. I know. Yeah, must have made you sad. It did, but... In a funny old way, it was also comforting somehow. Like, my Harvey's still out there. I, I imagined him looking down on me and saying, Mom, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That's nice. It is. Do you mind me asking about how you got on with Harvey's estate? Was it substantial? No. A few pounds, that's all. Tea? Ooh, something smells tasty. Pasta. But fortunately, there's only enough for three. Uh, don't you worry. Anyway, it's not even five o'clock, is it? Early bird special. You get used to it. Well, before we get tucked into Daniel's little feast, I've got a couple of papers I need you to sign, Flora, and we'll get things in motion. Tell her about a little windfall, did she? Only well, that there wasn't one. Maybe she got the wrong end of the stick. You did understand what I told you earlier on about Harvey's estate. I'm not a complete idiot. Right. Good. I panicked. I thought if you knew how much you'd left me, there'd be no reason why you had to put me up. Well, how much did he leave you? Oh, well, sorry, it's none of my business. Yes, it is. Over 250 grand. Enough to find myself somewhere fancy to live, I should think. Right. Yeah, this is fantastic. You don't sound too pleased to be getting rid of me. I'm not. I'm not. We've... We've enjoyed having you here, haven't we? And I'm guessing that since you lied to the care home about being dead, that you've liked being here too. Don't flatter yourself. And another thing, you and her, promise me you'll stop pussyfooting around. Do you love her? Yeah, I do, as it goes. What about you? Do you love him? Of course you do. It's clear as the nose on your face. I admit, in the beginning, I thought you weren't good enough for him, but, well, you'll do, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> and why, for goodness sake, are you living here and she's living over the road? He's a slow one in the family. It's complicated. Life's complicated. Well, we didn't want to rush things. Take it from an old lady. Time goes so quick. Take your chances and enjoy them while you can. Cos you never know what's round the corner. Oh, um, well, I'm being honest. I can't stand pasta. Never could. <laughs> Up front. You're all heart, Tracy. Well, it was a joke when I heard about this. You lot going to Vinny's funeral. We're doing it for Flora. He was her son. Right, well, I think you're a load of mugs. How much is it going to cost you? Flora's paying. Thought she was skint. Not anymore. Harvey left her a quarter of a million pounds. 250 grand? 
Are you joking? Straight up. Good morning, everyone. Oh, hi, Flora. How do I look? You look amazing. If I was 50 years old. <laughs> I'm so grateful to you all for, for coming to Harvey's cremation. I wouldn't miss it for the world, love. Don't think I could cope on my own. Well, you don't have to. We'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you, dear. I, I'm so looking forward to seeing all his friends. He was always such a popular boy. Oh, top bloke, top bloke. Did you know him well? We were like that. It's so reassuring to know my Harvey was such a good man who was well loved by so many people. Is she out of her mind? It's only going to be us lot there and a load of burglars. Possibly with CID hanging round the corner in an unmarked car. Oh, just shut up, Tracy. No, she's got a point, Phil. Flora's expecting a big turnout. What are we going to do? We've got Beth, Kirk. Yeah, and they'll end up killing each other. We need to recruit more mourners. If I'd known he was going, I would never have agreed to it. It's not too late to back out. No chance. I'm a woman of my word, unlike you. I'm just grateful you're all coming. I really all you. Yeah, too right you do. We've got to make up our time later because of this daft funeral. I can't believe how you let you all go. Well, no one can resist my fake crying. When I get started, I'm like a one woman week. <laughs> well, I'm really looking forward to it. I like a good sing song. Rubbish. You're only going because there's free butties. Hang on, there is a buffy in there, cos if there's not... Annie I'm... Beth! This isn't about your stomach. This is about making an old lady feel better about saying goodbye to her son. Yeah, yeah. But is the food? Yes. Good. Right. We'll see you at the creme, then. Right. We need to get back to work. Oh, so thoughtless. Just thinking about himself, as usual. You can go now, if you want. I'm just glad you all came. No way, I've not had my buffy yet. What is it here, guys? Mm. Meat on the right, veggie on the left. Hey. Time, I'm big and starving. Get stuck in. Flora, it was such a wonderful funeral. Do you know, I haven't cried that much since my own mum died. I'm glad so many people came. It really would have meant the world to Harvey. He was a lovely man. He swindled me out to 15,000 quid. Uh, rest assured, he'll be sadly missed. Tell me what you remember him for the most. The orphans. The orphans? Yes. When they were trapped down that mine for all those days and, and Harvey never gave up, he just kept on digging. Like you are now. He was always very brave. Uh, I, I, I do hope you'll all join me for a drink later to give him a good send-off. Oh, no. I've got Pilates tonight. And I've got a pile of ironing to do. <laughs> tonight? Uh, nightmare. I've got a snooker tournament. Any other night? Since when did you play snooker? Well, at the same time you started Pilates. Come on, guys. I'm sure we can all spare a little time for our dear friend, Harvey. Obviously, I shall be putting some money behind the bar. My money. I'll be there, Flora. Don't you worry. I've just remembered. My snooker's tomorrow night. Then I shall see you later in the Rovers. I'm off for a lie down now. Flora, I just wanted to say to you, I really do miss Harvey. He was my best friend. Really? Yeah. He never mentioned you. Really? Oh, no, we were thick as thieves. In fact, before he died, he was even talking about investing in my flower shop. He was very generous. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was super keen. £50,000, I think he said. What we were going to do is we were going to open another shop. You know, somewhere dead posh like Hale Barnes. Mm, sounds lovely. Mm. So what I was thinking is, now that Harvey's passed, God rest his soul, maybe you would like to invest, you know, in Harvey's memory. No, I don't think so. You did great, and everybody took off. I just feel so sorry for her. She hasn't got anyone, has she? She got us. You know what I think we should do? Give her a good send-off. She's not dead. Yet. No, I mean now. Goodbye party before she goes to nursing home. It is like a five-star hotel. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to feel loved. You really are one of the most wonderful people I've ever met. What do you mean, one of? 
Mm. Daft 50s themed farewell party for the old goat. Oh, I think it's a lovely idea. Her son rips off half the street. At least he didn't burn it down. That was an accident. Vinny was a career criminal. That's hardly Flora's fault, though, is it? No, it totally is, because she raised him. Oh, right, OK, OK. So should we string Ken up, then, for everything that you've done? Yep, absolutely, because he's the reason we're all so messed up. Ugh, you know what? I need the life. That'll be a fiver. Thank okay. you. Daniel, are you out of your mind? Seriously, somebody needs to talk some sense into that drippy girlfriend of yours. She's not drippy. Uh, she is drippy. She's as drippy as you're wet, perfectly suited to each other. I can only bow to your experience in relationships. You've had a few. Yeah, exactly, Daniel. That's why I know that you two aren't going to last. You'll outwet each other someday. We can only dream of having the kind of love that you and Steve share. Me and Steve are completely fine. Oh. All right. Yeah, it is. Then why? Why was he kissing Michelle on her wedding day? What? Mm. You heard. We are throwing you a party to say goodbye. A 50s themed party. So we're all going to get dressed up. We're going to sing your favourite songs. Yeah, oh. Rita said she might sing. God help us. Oh, that's just wonderful. I really don't know what to say. Oh. No need to say anything. Maybe you could just get another round in. Aren't you fair? It's my bard. Until further notice, yes. You know, I didn't like your poxy cap anyway. Your chips are rubbish. He's very particular about his chips. Um, is everything OK? Everything is fine, thank you. We're having a farewell party later. I'm moving to a posh nursing home. Oh, I love a party. Can we come? Um, I don't think you'd really like it. It's a 50s party. What, like you've got to be over 50? No, like you've got to dress like you're in the 50s. Oh, we might be busy, actually. Thanks anyway, though. Why don't we all go inside? <laughs> Look at you. Oh, you're looking pretty cool yourself. I need help with my zip. All right, yeah. Where did you get that? Oh, this. I picked it up at a charity shop a couple of years ago. Hey, we're only 50p. 50p? Yeah. Oh, can you help us with my makeup? I'm not sure what to do with my eyes. Of course I can. Yeah, I just love clothes, me. <laughs> Putting together outfits, doing alterations. My wardrobe's busting, actually. I've just got so many clothes that I've never worn. You can sell stuff like this for a profit. Oh, I don't know. Find a dress for 50p, tart it up a bit, sell it for 50 quid. Open up your own shop. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Why not? Well, I'd need more than an old wardrobe full of clothes, wouldn't I? Mm, you can do it. You're young. You should be having adventures. Daniel could help. I don't think Daniel knows anything about running a business, do you? I've got the perfect lipstick for you in my jewellery box. There is loads of girls that like the styles from the 60s. And the 70s. Even the 80s. It'd be so brilliant to earn a living doing something that you really love. With the fella you really love. Yeah. Got it. I think this is going to be a very special day for all of us. <laughs> Having a good time, then? The best. How about you and Sinead? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Do you love her? You've asked me that before, remember? I'm old. I forget stuff. What did you say? Yeah, I do. How much? A lot. So why haven't you proposed to her? God, you don't be around the bush, do you? She'll say yes. You think? I know. Actually, I just need to nip back to the flat. I'll be two minutes. Don't do anything till I get back. What did she say? She said that she was going back to the flat to get something and that we should wait here. Wait for what? I don't know, she didn't say. This is meant to be her party. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what, actually, she has been gone for quite a while. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
Flora? What? Flora? Flora! What happened? Look, I came to see Adam and I saw the door had been forced and I found her on the floor. Flora! Flora! Flora? I think we need to call an ambulance. Oh, yeah. Flora, are you okay? Oh, my... It's like a bit of a tumble. No, stay down. Maybe you need to wait for the paramedics. Oh, nonsense. Just a, a nice cup of tea. I'll be fine in a minute. I don't need an ambulance. Are you sure? Look, did you see who did this? It all happened so fast. I didn't see anything. Fast? Did you not see that the door was forced downstairs? I thought Adam had left it open. I called out to him when I got to the top of the stairs. So you saw who it was then? He came at me through the box and th th then he must have run off. And you described him as medium height, medium build, hoodie, jeans and trainers. You didn't see his face. That's right. And Simon Barlow, when did he arrive? You didn't see him arrive. He came to help you. He, he's a good lad. He wanted to help. He, he didn't want to rob me. The lad who threw the box, was he on his own? Yes. Are you sure? Flora? It, it all happened so fast. He wasn't on his own, was he? Simon was already here. What? He was with the lad who attacked you. But he didn't hurt me. He wanted to help. Happen he's, he's got mixed up with a bad crowd, like my Harvey. Lad. He was trying to rob you. And me. I can't believe I let you come back here on your own. It wasn't your fault. What did you want to come back here for anyway? Where's my jewellery box? Uh, yeah, it's just here. Please, don't say he's taken it. Oh. What is it? It's my mum's engagement ring. It's not very valuable, but it is very pretty. I want you to have it. I can't accept that. It's not for you, it's for her. Ask her. Ask me what? Right. Just so as you know, I haven't been bullied into doing this. Might not be the way I imagined doing it, but it's what I want. More than anything. Sinead Tinker. Will you marry me? Um, oh, that is beautiful. You told me she'd say, yeah? Yes! Yes, of course I'll marry her! <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, that's excellent news. Oh, I'm so pleased. <laughs> well done. Yeah, congratulations, mate. Thank you very much. Well done. You said we wouldn't last. Yeah, really pleased for you. Hey, congratulations. I've got to go and meet Beth in the pub, so well done. <laughs> Well, we should have a drink to celebrate. Yeah. Couples. <laughs> this is the best news ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great news. So, Steve, what made you finally pop the question, then? Maybe we inspired you. Um, I don't know. Oi. No, I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, you know, when, uh, when the moment comes, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Well, I'm happy for you both. Not for all four of you. <laughs> Love's in the air, eh, Trace? Yeah, well, it looks that way. Anyway, if you don't mind, I'd like to propose a toast just for me and Steve. No offence, like Daniel, but you had your moment earlier. You go for it. <sighs> well, um, me and Steve have known each other for, like, forever, haven't we? Well, yeah. But, you know, sometimes it takes a while to realise that your soulmate is right under your nose the whole time. Hmm. It's lovely, that. 
I love this man with my whole heart, and I am going to make you the best wife ever. <clears throat> Steve and Tracy are the future. <laughs> Stephen Tracy. <laughs> Stephen Tracy. Stephen Tracy. Stephen Tracy. Brina Shiva. <laughs> I've just dotted the I's and crossed the T's on my new nursing home. I'm moving in tomorrow. Oh, you'll be sorely missed. Come visit. My room's got a lovely big double bed. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm as game as you at your age. Come on. <laughs> Cheerio. Bye, Flora. Bills? Isn't it always? Look, Daniel, uh, I know things aren't easy here, especially with the wedding on the horizon. So, if you and Chernobyl allow, let me pay for it. That offer is for both your offspring, I take it. Thanks, Dad. Right, I think that's a lot. All my worldly possessions, eh? Not much to show for a lifetime, is it? Still, there'll be a bit more space with me gone. Space for a certain someone to move in. <clears throat> well, we are getting married soon. Be daft does not living together. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to have this. And every time you have a brew, you can think of me. Oh, It leaks a bit. Ah. Like me. Mm. <laughs> 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 and this is my best bandage. Uh. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. <sighs> this is what I was looking for. Take it, come on. It's to thank you for all you've done for me. We can't take this. It's only a bit of money. Um, it's a lot of money. Thirteen thousand pounds? No, no, no. It's no use to me. Put it in the bank and... And what, save it for a rainy day? No, I insist that you take it. I want you to use this money to help open up your vintage shop and live your dreams, the two of you, together. I've always been interested in vintage clothes. I used to spend hours down the market hunting down for stuff. I even thought about opening my own store once. Well, why didn't you? You ran one for your soap. Yeah, well, people always need to wash. They don't always need hobble skirts, do they? I just didn't have the confidence or the money. Well, money isn't an issue anymore, is it? That's one down. And as for confidence, you know fashion. Look at your underwear designs. If anyone can make this work, you can. I know we could. With Flora's money behind us, we could do big things. What am I going to bring to the table? That brain of yours. Right, I might know my cinch belts and my bullet bras. I need help on the business side. And you could write all the promo material as well. I bring the know-how, you bring the words. Oh, that's lovely. I'm so glad you're going into it together. Mm, yeah, well, I didn't really give him much choice. I, th I think we should mark the occasion. Uh, have you got a bottle of bubbly, love? Yeah, is uh, Prosecco OK? No, mm. we can't keep letting you pay for things. I insist. I've got something to celebrate. What are you celebrating? Getting to the end of another day? If you must know, these two are not only setting up home, they're starting their own business. A shop selling vintage clothes. Hmm. Is that another way of saying unfashionable? Well, you two will be made for it. Thanks, Trace. Knew you'd be thrilled for us. Mm. Do you know you want to be careful that you don't get sick of the sight of each other? No fear. Spending time together is actually part of the appeal. Aww, look at you. Me and Steve don't have to live in each other's pockets. You know, even when we're apart, we're always together. Oh, you got a sick bucket back there, Sarah. <laughs> oh, Daniel, you're just jealous because me and Steve have got something special. Hey, do you know that he is even using our original engagement ring? Wow, my gosh, that must be an antique. You could sell that in your shop. 
Nah, we're only going back as far as the 50s. 